Hello po and kumusta uli sa lahat? Welcome sa Glaze in Canada. Ang uh, nagbablog tungkol sa buhay Pinoy. So, yung vlog po natin ngayon is tungkol sa isang uh, ukay-ukay. Bali, kahit maunlad na bansa yung Canada, mayroon pa rin ditong tinatawag na ukay-ukay, no? Bali, mayroon itong, ditong isang sikat na parang used item store kung saan pwede kang bumili ng mga iba't ibang klase ng damit, mga sapatos, mga gamit sa bahay, uh, mga ganyan, no? For a very reasonable price. So, mostly yung mga bagong uh, dating dito sa Canada, ito yung paborito nilang puntahin dahil bukod sa marami kang pagpipilian is makakamura ka pa. Uh, isang experience ko noon, bumili ako ng jacket. At tuwan-tuwa ako yung nakapako sa, sa bulsa niya, mayroong mga barya, mga more than 2 dollars, tuwan-tuwa na ako. Pero yung vlog natin ngayon, naku, kung ikaw yung nakaranas nito, ano kaya ang gagawin? Panoorin po natin ito. Um, bali, nakalimutan ko palang banggitin kanina yung pangalan ng sikat na ukay-ukay store nito sa Canada ay Value Village. So, nangyari sa store nila ito. Panoorin po natin. It is the place where people go to get more bang for their buck. Thrifty deals without breaking the bank. But what staff found when sorting through donations this week was an unusual find, to say the least. Holy smokes, uh, this is a lot of money. Jeffrey Stonehouse manages the Value Village here on Hastings. Days ago, he and another staffer were sorting through a pile of donations when they came across a bag that was full of surprises. The bag was a little unusual, it felt like documents, and so she pulled out the first envelope and tore the top off of it and pointed it in my direction and what we saw was a lot of 50s and $100 bills. I don't know how old this money is. Uh, I can tell you that the money had been stowed away for quite some time. Stonehouse says even police were taken aback by the amount, over $85,000. The cash was in a bag, a dollar store bag, no less, and it contained ID that helped police identify the elderly woman whose cash this was. As it turns out, there's an elderly woman. She's now living in a care home. She's been in the care home for about a year. And her family was going through some old storage lockers that she had, and they found some bags of stuff. Uh, they decided to donate the bags to Value Village, not obviously knowing what was in it, and never knowing that this money even existed. The money is now on its way back to the family, with police praising Value Village staff along the way. They did the right thing. They called the police. Stonehouse says what he and his staff did was what they always do when receiving something they feel was not intended for them. Usually it's when we get a call from somebody, they misdonated something. It's usually like my wedding dress or my grad photos or something like that. But this certainly was outstanding. This was an unintended donation they won't soon forget. So yun po no, yung pera ay naka napulot ng isang worker. Tapos nila over sa manager tapos eh, binigay nila sa police para may soli sa tunay na mayari. No? So kung ano yun mo yun, eh, $85,000 Canadian dollars, eh, napakalaking nalaga na yun. Kung sa Philippine money, is may git 3 million piso yun. Maraming maraming ka na magagawa doon. Pero kapag talagang hindi sa iyo, dapat hindi natin pag-ingresan. So I hope na enjoy nyo po itong vlog na ito. Ayan, sa uulitin. So, so do, huwag nyo lang pong kalilimutan na mag-subscribe at i-hit yung notification bell para ma-notify kayo sa aking mga susunod na vlogs. So once again, maraming salamat po. This is Glaze.